This is Dr. Gloria Holden with Gloria Holden Ministries. Welcome to our inspirational and motivational talk. I am so glad that you are joining us this morning. And even if you are not listening live, you will be able to look at this video later. We thank you for taking the time just to listen and to join us. It's absolutely a great day to be alive. Yes, it is. A couple of days ago, we spoke to you about overcoming obstacles in our lives. That obstacles was a part of life and that we either overcome obstacles or they overcome us. And we named some of the obstacles. Today, we want to talk about perseverance. 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 Press. Press. Perseverance. Perseverance. Why are you saying that, Gloria? Because one of the tricks of the enemy these days is to try to wear us out. To get us to quit. I'm, I'm just as I was preparing and just meditating on what we would talk about this morning in our motivational and inspirational talk. I just felt so strongly that th those there are some of you that are entrepreneurs that are listening to me. And business is not exactly what you want it to be. And sometimes you feel like, I want to quit. Maybe I should go and get me, uh, you know, a regular job. Well, I want to let you know that you shouldn't quit. The only reason, the only time that you should quit is if you are doing something you don't enjoy doing. But if you enjoy doing it, however, don't you quit. Don't give up. Do not give up. Persevere. 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 Hang in there. Persevere. Continue. Continue to do it. Continue to, to hit on it. Continue to do what you're doing. Unless you're doing something wrong. You know, I was, I was uh, asked once, uh, does practice make perfect? And of course, that's what I'd already, always heard. And I, I knew from experience, those things that I continued to practice, I did well in. And so I said, yes. And I was very politely corrected. And he said, no, practice does not make, does not make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. So maybe there's something need that you are doing may need tweaking. Yes. May need to be changed. Uh, the whole thing may not need to be torn down and started over again, but there may be a part of it that need to be changed. But I want you, I'm encouraging you, just as you've been encouraging me, since these broadcasts have started. And don't think I have not read your, your messages sent to me because I do read them. Because I'm interested in your feedback. But it is so encouraging to hear you say, this message is what I needed today. And you know why? Because we are in this together. Yes. Iron sharpeneth iron. We are in this together. So persevere. Persevere. Don't give up. Don't, don't, don't throw in the towel. Don't stop your business. Don't do that. The person that you are going to go and work for had to persevere. They had to pers persevere. They had to persevere 
in what they're doing right now. It takes perseverance. So if you quit your job, if you stop being an entrepreneur, and you, you go and work for others, and yes, I'm talking to you today because I know you are listening now, or you will be listening There are many times I have felt like quitting. I didn't say that you wouldn't feel like quitting. I didn't say that it was always easy. I know we don't live in a bubble. We live in the real world. I didn't say that. You said, but Gloria, you don't understand. I am going through hell. Well, I like what Churchill, what the Churchill said. He said, if, you, if you're going through hell, keep going. <laughs> you say, what? If you're going through hell, keep going. In other words, don't stop. Don't you quit. Because if you stop, you're going to stop in hell. But if you keep going, oh, if you keep moving, you're going to walk out of that hell. If you keep working at it, if you keep having tenacity, if you keep persevering, it's going to get better. Yes, it is. So don't you you believe what you see now? Circumstances. Come on, talk to yourself. Use the power, the God-given authority that he gave you. He gave you dominion. And he also gave you the opportunity that if you speak, if you say, and you tell that mountain, move, it will move. Now, I want to say this. I don't want you just to speak, but I want you to speak and do. Because speaking without action is just what it is, speaking. And remember we talked about a couple of days ago on overcoming obstacles. And one of the things, one of the obstacles was overcoming naysayers and overcoming what people had to say and overcoming people's opinion and even sometimes overcoming your opinion about yourself. But to persevere, you're coming out of it. Then I like another saying by Churchill. He said, Sometimes just doing good enough is not enough. Sometimes we have to do more than just the best. You know, I've done the best I can. He said, sometimes that, that's not enough. Sometimes you have to do what's required. Yes. Sometimes things require that we go ab- beyond I've done, I, I'm doing what I can do. And you have it in you. God has given you that. So to persevere in difficulties. What is perseverance? Perseverance is to keep going. Not stopping. Even against the odds. It's not quitting. It's persevering in all circumstances. You know, uh, the, the United Postal Service used to have a saying, and they probably, they probably, probably, <laughs> talk to us, they still do. It says, rain, sleet, or snow, we deliver. I'm paraphrasing that. In other words, they, was, they were telling us, or they are telling us, rain will not stop me, sleet will not stop me, snow will not stop me. I'm persevering. I'm going to persevere. 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 I'm going to continue. Yes, this thing is hard. Yes, I I feel like giving up. There have been many times I've felt like giving up. There have been many times I felt like quitting and I wanted to play a Peter on you. I wanted to go a fishing. (laughs) But God, see, don't give up. Don't give up. Because right around the corner, 
is success. Many of people have missed their blessing, have missed accomplishing their goal, their vision, their, uh, their dreams, because they gave up too soon. So, perseverance. You know, I, I, I remember a lot of people say it takes talent and it takes, uh, you have to be smart and, and I don't know how to do this and I don't know how to do that. And, and, but there was a doctor in, in, uh, at the University of Illinois in Chicago and this doctor, I'm going to give you his name. I was reading this and it just encouraged me. And, and I want to share this with you. Um, Dr. Benjamin Bloom of the University of Chicago conducted a study. And he wanted to find out what was the difference between those that excelled. I mean that became great in what they did and the ones that did not and so he interviewed artists and uh, athletes and musicians people I mean a broad spectrum of people he interviewed them but then he went one step further he not only interviewed them he interviewed their parents their family members he wanted to see what they observed about this person that had excelled in what they were doing. In every one of the families, every parent had this one thing in common. It wasn't that they were so talented. They didn't quit. They wouldn't give up with obstacles. They didn't give up. They persevere. They continue to do what they set out to do. You have purpose, vision in you. You have a call on your life. Yes, you do. You have a life-given purpose that God has given you. Yes. And maybe you've started. And maybe you're in it right now. But it just seems dead. And you say nothing. I see no action. I see no life. And even you are tired of, of it because you don't see any life. Well, I want to let you know that that vision and that purpose is in you. You are the vision. You are the purpose. You are the dream. It's you. So if the vision it's not moving. If the vision has gone dead, then if something has died in you. But oh, you can rekindle that dream. You can bring that vision back alive. Yes, you can. You can say, I'm not going to give up. You will get up. Put your shoes on. Tie your laces out of whatever kind of shoes you wear. This is this is not a literal shoe I'm talking about. This is your spiritual shoe. This is your shoe of tenacity. This is your shoe of the greater one is in me. Stand up. Dust yourself off. Renew your mind. And say, I'm going to persevere. I'm not going to give up. I, I like, I, as a child, I used to like to hear a lady at my church sing, uh, I'm too close to heaven. You said, no, she didn't do that. Yes, I did. <laughs> In other words, she, she was saying, I'm too close to my goal. Almost to see my God face. I'm too close. You know, and so the, the, the essence, the moral of the song is, I won't turn around. I, I won't give up. I won't go back. I paid a great price to get where I am now. 
And I tell you, like God told me many years ago, he was asking me to do something. And I was saying, God, I don't like that. You know how we talk with God and, and we, we read, but he allow us to reason with him. So I don't make a big deal out of it. I just talk with him because he knows my heart anyway, and he knows your heart, right? And God told me, Gloria, if you do it, you're going to suffer. And if you don't do it, you're going to suffer. So choose. I said, well, if I'm going to suffer anyway, I may as well do it. At least I'll be obeying you. (laughs) Oh, you have what it takes in you to persevere. Yes. Keep going. I want to share with you another thought I have. When um, sometimes it seems as if we run into a brick wall. I've tried this. I've tried that. It's still not working. Well, I want to tell you something. The brick wall is not there to keep you out. Oh, no. A brick wall is there for you to see how determined you really are. Remember, I I told you the other day about the friends, the two men that took the man that had the palsy and, and they couldn't get to Jesus because of the multitude, how much tenacity they had and, and how they persevered to the point where they even, they took the roof off and let the man down through the, through the roof of the, of the house. Well, you have to persevere. So that brick wall is there not to keep you out. But it's to see how determined you are. Are you going to persevere? Yes. That brick wall there is to keep the people out who are not going to persevere. You are not one of those. You are not one of those people. You have in you what it takes. God would not have given you that vision, that dream, that passion, and didn't give you the wherewithal to do it. God is not that type of God. He doesn't set you up for failure. No, he doesn't. He does not. Just just like a parent. A parent wouldn't set their child up for failure. Not intentionally anyway. Not intentionally. You're not going to be a perfect parent, but you would never intentionally set your child up to fail. God would never set you up to fail. God gave you that passion. It's something you enjoy. God gave you that dream. He gave you that vision. Persevere. Persevere. And in those times, when you feel like I have nothing left, God will send you a lifeline. Yes, he will. He will send you the encouragement that you need. I'm on, I'm on Ustream TV today. For you to encourage you and for you to encourage me. Remember, we, we are making this journey together. I'm not an island and nor are you. We need each other. Yes, we do. I need you. You need me. Yes. And so, persevere. Persevere. You know... Dr. Bloom found out that it wasn't talent that caused people to excel. It was perseverance. They didn't quit. They did not give up. So, you may feel like it today, but don't give up. Say, Gloria, I've just had something traumatic to happen to me. Well, my heart goes out to you. But even in this traumatic situation, don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Persevere. Persevere. Keep going. Keep going. Get up and do whatever you can do. 
Do whatever you can do. You know, I read, I love uh, stories and I love parables. I read where there was a young, young lad was sitting on um, a bridge. And this young lad was hungry. He was a poor young man. And he was hungry. And as he was sitting there on that bridge, he saw a man fishing. And this man had caught a lot of fish. And he looked in this man's bucket and he said, wow, those are a lot of fish. He said, if I had those fish, he said, I would sell some of them and buy me some clothes. He said, and I would cook some and eat. And the fisherman overheard him. And he said, young man, he called out to him. He said, young man, come here. And the young lad said, yes, sir. And the young lad went to the fisherman. And the fisherman said, would you do me a, ask him, would you do me a favor? He said, yes, sir. He said, I have to go on an errand. He said, will you hold my pole and, uh, and, and, until I return? He said, yes, sir. I'll be glad to do that. And so as the young man was holding the pole, the fishes just started biting. Just biting, pulling on the hook. And so the young man started pulling the fish out of the water. And he, he enjoyed it. He said, oh, I enjoy this. And he, he would bait the, the hook and put it back in the water. And as soon as he would put it back in the water, he would get another bite. And he would pull that one out. And he got more excited. And he took that fish off. And he, he put that fish in the bucket. And it continued and continued. And later, the man came back. The fisherman, he came back. And he said, young lad. He said, yes, sir. He said, I'm going to give you all the fishes that you caught. While I was gone. He said oh thank you sir. Thank you. I, well, I wanted some fish. He said but young lad. I want to tell you something. He said yes sir. He said the next time. You want something. He said. I want you to go. And do something about it. I want you to do something to make it happen. I don't want you just to want it. I want you to do what it takes to make it happen. He taught him something. You were, you were sitting on the bridge wishing for something to happen. He said, young man, you don't have to do that. Go make it happen. So he gave him that pole. To teach him a lesson. So maybe. Just maybe. In, in our perseverance. In our perseverance. Just maybe. We need to go make something happen. <laughs> go make it happen. If you're in sales. Go, go make two or three more calls. Yes. Yes. If you're writing. And you, and you have a writer's block. Go take a walk around the block or go do something else and go back and write some more. Make it happen. Yes. Let's make it happen today. Let's do what it takes to make it happen. Oh, yesterday, I, there were some things. I said, I must tie up some loose ends. I must, over the last couple of days, 
I must have some loose ends. I must get this thing done. I've been planned. I must finish this. In other words, I must persevere in this until I get it done today. And I don't care if I have to work here at this office. From morning to night today, I must get it done. And I'm here to tell you, I left that place feeling great because I accomplished some things. Was it pleasant? No. Did I feel like it? No. Did I like doing it? No. It's called perseverance and it's called discipline. You have in you what it takes to persevere because the greater one is in you. I remember, you know, Jesus told the parable about the unjust judge and he was teaching them on prayer. But he told his disciples and all those that were listening about the lady that refused to give up. She went to the judge. And the Bible said the judge didn't fear God. He didn't fear man. The judge was just hard. But she didn't give up. She kept going. She kept going to that unjust judge. And that unjust judge said, let me give this woman what she wants. Or she's going to worry me to death. She's going to worry me. She's going to make me weary. And so God was telling us, be persistent. Persevere. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't, don't close your business. Persevere. Yeah. Do, do, do what the ordinary person would not do. Go that extra mile. You have in you what it takes. I want to encourage, make this announcement to those of you that's been asking about our online Bible college. I am so excited to announce that this September we will start our online Bible college, Fellowship International Bible College. We have been uh, established since the year of 2000. We are an accredited college, and we offer degrees from associate all the way to your doctor degree. And we are going to be sending out emails as well. Those of you who are interested, now this is not going to be boring. You're going to be able to interact with your teacher. You're going to be able to see your teacher, and your teacher is going to be able to see you. You're going to be able to type in questions if you have questions. And, uh, I mean, it is absolutely great. So if you're interested in registering uh, for our fall semester, our fall semester is going to begin September the 8th. If you're interested in being a part of our online Bible college, now this is not for people in the immediate area. This is for people that at least 60, 70 miles away are, are further. Uh, you, you can be in the state, out of the state. And my daughters that's been asking, when am I going to do this? We are doing it. And so we are sending out the email. You, uh, you need to send me an email at contact at GloriaHoldenMinistries.com. Contact at GloriaHoldenMinistries.com. And, and please say, give me your mailing address and your telephone number. And your email so I'll, can, we can get back in touch with you. Also, you can go to our website. You can go to uh, dofell.com. That's D-O-E-F-E-L-L.com. And you will see a link there where you can contact us. But I would rather for you to do it through our email. Contact me. So I can get right back with you. My assistant will call you, uh, email you, uh, send you. If you would like a registration form, we need you to, uh, to call, to email us your address. Email us your address so we can put that in the mail to you right away. It is going to be us absolutely exciting. Our Bible college is not just lecture. It's practical. So you have to do what you're, what you're taught. See, some people think teaching is enough. It's not. You have to be trained. And that's what we do. So, contact GloriaHoldenMinistries.com. Contact at, contact at GloriaHoldenMinistries.com. 
and let me know I want to be a part of the Bible College. Thank you so much for tuning in today to our broadcast. I love you. I, I really, really do. We may have never met, but I do love you, and I care about you. Let's make this journey together. Also, if you want to be on our mailing list, if you want to keep up with us and you, you just want to be on the mailing list, in and out of town, mail us, uh, email us your address. And we'll email you back to let you know that we have uh, we received your email. And we will uh, keep you informed. There are some other things that we're going to be doing that you are going to be excited about. You are. So you want to follow us on Ustream so you will know each time we are on. God bless you. I love you. Persevere. Don't you give up. Don't you throw in the towel. No. You can do it. Yes, it doesn't feel good right now, but you can do it. We're going to make this journey together. This is Dr. Gloria Holden with Gloria Holden Ministries saying, I love you.